Uh, Ricky, it looked like the boys were really up for it. They were really in the grind in that first half particularly. Where did it all go wrong? I don't know if it went wrong. It was a, uh, a little bit like uh, well, last week. We were just <clears throat> getting ourselves into a game and then, you know, we're, you do need a little bit of luck at times. Um, you know, Sebi Chris is unfortunate there on chip kick for Jack where he scored and then Rapper where, I, where he just bounced the ball. I mean, it could have been so different, but we went for a try scoring opportunity with Jack in the air and then it turns up to a tackle that Sebi gets sent off for. You do need a little bit of luck in this game. What did you make of um, Seb Chris's send off? Are you comfortable with it? No, I didn't make any, but I haven't seen it again, so. Is it, look, you don't get a home final, but you're in the finals. A lot of people talk about just wiping the slate clean and it's a new competition. Is that how you feel it next week? Well, I don't know if anyone knows we're in the finals. We weren't meant to be. Uh, I'm that proud of these blokes. They've exceeded everybody's expectations. And, you know, if we, if we were a little bit better over the last month, we would have been in the top four, but that's unfortunately, a, uh, that's gone. But I'm so proud of them making the top eight. Um, Jordan Raffin is 200th game. Few words. Yeah, 200 in real games, and we'll celebrate it more when it's 200 Raider games. But uh, he's phenomenal. He's, he's an unbelievable rapper. Kelly, what do you have to say about Jordan? Like 200th game, scores his 100th try today, almost scores the second one. Just how important is he to this club? Yeah, look, he's been massive since the day I got here for this club, and you know, he's a big part of, uh, like you said, the team. And um, yeah, he competes every week, and you know, he puts his front foot forward, and you know, it's a pleasure to play alongside week in week out. So. Um, yeah, hopefully he's got a few more games in here next year with me, and um, yeah, we'll see other from then. But yeah, like I said, um, you know, we're disappointed with the result today, but we're gonna reset and focus on uh, Newcastle next week. Um, you know, got a big week ahead of us. No one expects us to go up there and win, so um, we'll be just enjoying the week. As Darcy said, you were right on the grind for the first 60 minutes. What did you make of the set Chris tackle? Yeah, look, um, you know, I probably were a send off in, in hindsight, but um, yeah, look, you know, we. We didn't never give up. We we still showed in that 20 minutes. We had fight, you know. To the last two minutes, we were trying to score, and you know that's what this team's about, and that's what we've. That's why where we are, at, where we we are at the moment. Sorry, and um, you know, like I said, I think a few of you at the start of the year um, said we'd get wooden spoon, and that's uh, you know to be where we are. We're pretty proud, and you know, like I said, we'll go up to Newcastle, and we're full of confidence that we can get the win up there. Quite easily got into the, the top four. Do you, do you have that sort of confidence within the group? You can turn it around for, for next week. Yeah, definitely. Look, you know, I think we've we've showed that throughout the season that you know when we get it right, we're a good side. And um, you know, like I said, we'll just be focusing on this week now and um, restarting from scratch. And you know, it's been our die for us now. So um, yeah, we're, just, we're gonna just have to have a good dig. Obviously, the last couple of weeks you've shifted, shifted Jack to centre. What are, what are you looking for and are you, are you like Are you seeing what you're looking for? Well, he's international centre. Are you see, you're seeing what you want, though, from, from yep. in, in that position? Yep. And are you seeing what you want from Foley in, in the six? Yep. Okay. And just, you, Elliot was talking about you know the expectation on, on you guys. Is it almost playing to your hands with all these guys out? Everyone's going to be writing you off saying you're just making up the numbers? You've got English accent. I have. Where are you from? Huddersfield. Next stop. He's from Bradford. Yeah. It's a bit hey, nice then. How come nice I can understand thing. you a lot better than this bloke? <laughs> I probably went to a nicer school then. Uh, he didn't go to school. You're posh if you're from Huddersfield. <laughs> I don't posh. know if this bloke went to school, mate. <laughs> but does it play, do you feel it plays into your hands? That oh, mate, well, I don't know if it plays into our hands. Going up to Newcastle, maybe. Uh, they're a mad, passionate rugby league town, which is lovely. You know, I mean, good on them. Good on Adam O'Brien. He's he was getting sacked three months ago, wasn't he? Yeah. So he's turned around and shoved up all those people. Good on him. Ricky, you played them a few weeks ago, and I was at home. But did you take anything out of that performance against Newcastle? Yeah, it was shocking. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs>